Welcome to the Simply Smart Business Show with me, Gemma Went. And welcome to the show. Now on this show, I am going to be talking about how to make selling feel less ick. Um, This is something I've just had a lovely live call with my current mastermind. um, And this is something we've been talking about. Um, It's such a common issue with so many business owners, entrepreneurs in all kinds of industries that they feel really ick about selling. And I think it's something actually that's quite common with people in, in the UK, British people, because we are terribly British and, um, and we don't like it for some reason. Um, and it's something that I felt too, I really, really resonate with this. And I've been... Um, I've been blessed in my business, actually both of my businesses, that I um, have been able to rely upon attracting clients to me. And I've been very lucky that I've, I've, I've always been booked out. I've had waiting lists of clients. And so I've, I've used a lot of inbound marketing techniques, which is, you know, that's my zone of genius. I'm very, very good at digital marketing, online marketing, and in, inbound marketing. So I've always relied on that right? But there have been times when I, I need to sell. And, and when I've sort of been in a pitch situation with bigger clients, where I've been on the phone to a client, and I find it really uncomfortable. So it's something that I, um, I identified last year. And I, it was something I really wanted to fix. Um, and I wanted to kind of just change my mindset. I knew it was a mindset issue. And I wanted to change my mindset around um, selling. So this year I took some training, some fantastic, authentic selling training with Kendrick Shope, who is absolutely brilliant. And it has completely turned around my whole belief system and my whole mindset around selling. And I just wanted to kind of share a little bit of that with you because it might resonate with some of you um, and I hope it might help some of you. Um, So I just wanted to kind of share with you how I now feel around selling and some tips that might help you to turn it around too. So the thing with me, the, the, the main big thing with me was realizing that selling is helping rather than selling being this horrible thing where you're forcing yourself on people. Selling is actually helping. And, and you know, people connect with you. They sign on to your list and they join your groups and they like your Facebook page and they follow you on Twitter and, and they connect with you because they like you and you, they want you to help them. And selling our products and our offering and our services to them is just helping them. That is how we can help them. And we need to feel comfortable with that. And then as soon as I kind of turned that belief around into helping rather than selling, it kind of turned it around for me um, and it made me feel much more comfortable about the, the, whole, the whole thing of, of, of selling, which I now don't even think of as selling, I think of as, as helping people. Um, the other thing is you need to have absolute belief in yourself and in your offering, your product, your service, whatever it is you're offering, you have an absolute unmoving belief in what you're selling for people to believe, believe you. And if you don't have that belief, then they're never going to believe you and they're never going to buy from you. So I think tackling your own negative thoughts and your negative self-beliefs around what you might be selling or yourself is key to this. Because as soon as you can tackle that and you can get comfortable with that, then you can get comfortable, much more comfortable with selling your stuff and promoting your stuff. And, and if you can shift your mindset, you can shift your income right up a gear. And it's really important, the kind of the mindset piece around this is really, really important um, to, to grasp hold of. Um, and I think too many people just sit with it and accept it um, rather than kind of working on it and saying, no, I'm going to tackle this and I'm going to get okay with doing this selling stuff. Um, so really kind of understanding that and working on that, I think is absolutely key and getting completely and utterly, um, confident and, and believe your own stuff is really important to that. Um, and the other thing that I've, I learned that, that I should have known, and I probably did self uh, subconsciously, but, um, 
I didn't kind of consciously think about it and build it into how I'm doing things in my business. Um, is that everything is selling, like everything that you do, every connection that you make, every conversation that you have, everything that you send out, every person that you speak to on the phone, every email that you send, whether it's a selling email or not, everything is selling and you're selling yourself. You are putting yourself across, you are negotiating things and it's in everything that we do. Um, So learning that for me made me really think about every touch point in my business. So everywhere that somebody comes into contact with me, whether that's just a simple conversation in a Facebook group or anywhere else, that's a touch point and that's a place to experience me. Um, and I want that to be the best it can absolutely be. Now, I've, I've uh, not saying that I've never done this because I've always been, I've always been an over deliverer. I've always been a very sort of caring and nurturing um, mentor and coach. Um, and so I always do these things and I always make, make I always want people to feel comfortable whenever they come into contact with me. But this just made me think about every single touch point and how I'm making people feel at every single touch point. And I'm really building that into my business. Um, uh, and it's become a really important thing for me. Um, and I'm, I'm, I'm shifting things in my business and how I do stuff around that um, because it's, it's really, really important to me um, that, that people feel a certain way when they come into contact with me. And again, you know, that, just that alone, that contact is selling. And it's kind of how you deal with people and they, it helps people to understand if you're the kind of person that, that they want to connect with, that you're the kind of person that they're going to trust to invest their, their money and their time in. And that stuff is really important. So all of that is selling. And that's not ick. That's like really important stuff. And that's really authentic stuff. And that's the stuff that's full of integrity. And that's the stuff that really kind of connects you with people. And it's really, really important stuff. So it's kind of, it's kind of heightened the importance of, um, of selling and not made it a dirty word and not made it an uncomfortable thing. It's made it a really important thing to me that in everything that I'm doing, I'm getting, getting across the right, the right messaging and I'm coming across in the right way to make people trust me and make them want to work with me. Um, another thing that was, um, uh, really interesting and I've been thinking about this for a while and I've actually been having this conversation in um, my uh, own mastermind around how much we're actually selling in what we're doing Uh, and I don't think people are making offers nearly enough Um, so you know when you when you have an evergreen sequence in your email or when you're blogging or when you're just sending out emails or when you're on your podcast. I don't think enough of us are actually connecting to that and making an offer because we're talking about a topic, right? A topic that that's really dear to our hearts and it could be a topic where we're really helping people and we're giving them advice. And so seldomly people are actually adding in an offer to that and actually saying, right, here is this thing, here is my advice, and if you want more help, I can support you with this, this is how I can do that, this is the benefits of that, and then here's where you can go to buy that thing. And I don't think we're doing that enough, and I'm really thinking about, I mean, I I talk a lot about my nurture paths and creating funnels with feeling, because I, I, I am a nurturer, and I want, like I said, I want every kind of um, connection with me to to be a really positive one. So when I'm creating funnels, that's why I call them funnels of feeling because I like I like them to kind of connect with people and be more of a kind of a nurturing thing. Um, and so when I'm kind of creating these, I'm now really thinking about where I place my offers and and how I put those across because I think that's really important. And I'm helping people with those things, so therefore I should be putting more of them out there and putting them in front of people at the right time so that I can genuinely help them with their their problems and the thing that they, they're coming to me to help them with um also and talking about nurturing I think a lot of us pay way too much attention to bringing new people into our business bringing in new leads bringing in new potential clients and actually not enough attention on nurturing existing contacts Um, So that's something I'm really looking at at the moment. So nurturing my existing contacts, getting in contact with people and following up more. You know, Uh, I heard um, a a quote from someone 
the other day saying the fortune is in the follow-up. And that is so, so true. And I think we forget to follow up with people. You know, we might have sent people some information on a program or a service. We might have pitched for something. Are we following up enough? I know I'm not a lot of the time. So I'm really getting a system in place where I'm following up in a really authentic um, way with people when I've made contact with them and really nurturing those old relationships that I've had, people that I might have not spoken to for a year, two years, however long, um, and really making um, the most of that. And all of this stuff has really kind of made me think, I mean, it's it's been a wonderful experience and I've been sort of doing this for the last sort of five, six weeks. um, And it's completely shifted the way I think about things and how I do uh, run things in my business. Um, And I, what I'm doing is I've actually created a new um, client getting system um, as part of this is going to get people booked up and sold out um, a lot quicker. And it's going to be merged with my lead engine, which I'm going to be talking about very, very soon, um, and combining it with a kind of a non ick selling technique from all of this stuff that I've learned. Um, and I'm really excited by it, by it. I'm testing it out myself on my own business um, and we'll be rolling it out to um, uh, my clients. And I'm also I'm adding it into my mastermind, which applications are open now. And I would love you to go and have a look, simplysmartmastermind.com. But I've just added that in um, as an extra um, uh, to my mastermind because I take people through. It's a bit of, my mastermind's a bit of a kind of a, combination of group program and mastermind because I, I still do some some training and I do some business strategy stuff I do some marketing planning and now I'm doing my client getting system to really hone in on right how do we get you in front of your clients selling to them in a non-icky way so I'm really excited about that and this is all from me kind of conquering my um my my feelings and my fear around around selling so so i hope that those points have um resonated with you and i hope that's helped some of you guys think more about your own mindset around selling and any potential negative self-beliefs you have around that and maybe making you think more about how you can turn that into a positive and turn that into helping uh, rather than selling. Thank you for listening. <laughs>